Hello everyone, welcome back to Harry Makes Up. I hope you're doing really, really well. So I'm gonna show you what I consider my core kit. So this is a kit that comes with me no matter what kit I'm bringing to whatever job. It is a kit that I can work out of in its entirety. It is my ride or die favorite. It doesn't get changed up much and it takes something really amazing to be added to this kit. And before I start, I just wanted to say as well, if you are a makeup artist and you're looking for some support this year, I'm actually hosting a brand new free training that is going to be live on February the 11th at 11 a.m. PST, which is going to help you make your ultimate game plan for 2021. So we're going to cover everything from social media strategy, the things you can do now, and the systems that are going to help you scale. So if you're looking support and you're feeling a little bit lost, definitely make sure you sign up for this training, which I will leave the link to in the description box below. So it goes without saying, I am a huge lover of organization and I take that through with me to my pro kit. I've been using the travel mall system for many years and I feel like I've really got this down now. And this kit is ride or die favorites, my absolute essentials. So the first thing I like to bring with me are some individual lashes. These are the Kasha lashes, which I'm really enjoying and the reusable packet is great. Mio cases I love for my uh, Anastasia brow powders so I have those and I have um, in the little pots that you can get from Mio Cosmetics I also have some brow wax and some brow gel. Then I always make sure I have a brand new unopened mascara as well which is great to give people um, when I'm working with them and then I have one of the Curex makeup, uh, not makeup remover, nail varnish remover wipes. Electrical tape that's very very soft is really good for removing glitter, that is a staple. And then you'll see in the top, I always like to make sure I have some eye masks. Um, I like quite a few different brands, but these are great for a carpet. I always have um, some powder puffs as well that I like to use to protect the base as I'm working on the rest of the makeup. The view set palettes are amazing for editing down eyelashes. So you can see in here, I think I have about 25 pairs of strip lashes and several strips of individuals. Sheet masks are also something I like to bring with me. Some makeup wipes, these ones from Honest Beauty I like because of how they open. It's really easy to get in and out of. And that's the top section of my travel mall. So if you look into the bottom half, this is like the magic bit that I feel like makes everyone happy when they see it open. One of my longtime favorites is the Ellis Fast Creamy Eyes eyeshadows. The neutral tones in these are just phenomenal across the board, across different skin tones. So I have quite a few of those. I like to make sure I always have the NARS, I can never remember what it's called, the Pro Proof Smudge Primer, Eye Primer. The Glossier Lash Lick for bottom lashes is amazing. And then I have the NARS Climax Mascara. M Cosmetics Brow Cream, you guys probably already know, is a huge favorite of mine. I can't live without it, I have it in every shade, and I also have the M Cosmetics um, Brow Pencils. In this section, I like to keep a mix of smoky, smudgy pencils in different shades, and then I have my tools. So I have um, a few things I use, like scissors for cutting, eyelashes, if I'm trimming eyelashes down, my artist kit company, Magnetic Spatula. And then I also have some Shuamura false lash uh, tweezers and these velour ones as well, which have a little comb, which are good for getting any glue off of lashes. And then some regular tweezers, because uh, that's how I like to apply lashes. Then this is an amazing liquid liner. Uh, I think this is by Lord and Berry. I'm gonna check if, it's, if I've got that wrong, but it's a great like paint and liner finish. And then Autographique liner by Surratt love 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 those the nib is so fine um, and i have those in various shades glossier uh brow flick is incredible and then this is kimiko i think i'm saying that right a great independent brow product that's really really nice and great shades for tight lining i love the kat von d cake liner this is from before it became kvd uh, vegan beauty Victoria Beckham Smoky Coals are the best smoky uh, pencils. I always like to have a nude coal. And the smoky batons from Surratt are a real kind of kit staple. I have those in black and brown. 
Then when it comes to the next few sections, this is my lip pencils. So what I tend to do is have a section which is for light to medium skin tones. So lots of complimentary nude lip liners in different brands. And then the second uh, section is for medium to deeper skin tones. So lots of really beautiful shades there that I use all the time. Of course, I have a red section. <laughs> I think the Violette for Estee Lauder red liquid lipstick is so universally flattering. And then I have a couple of different red lip pencils and some pinks and corals and a few kind of my favorite go-tos. So then we come down to the bottom part, which is my organization heaven. I like treating it like a filing cabinet. Every section is kind of catered to a certain part of the face or a certain way I work. So what I tend to do is I will obviously always start with kind of skincare first, which is over here. You'll see each section is kind of laid out so I can see it from a bird's eye view. I can see numbers, I can see what is in each palette. I can read everything to get what I need quickly. Um, these little Muji bottles are great for holding a mix of different moisturizers, sun creams, SPFs, uh, various different skincare products that I use all the time on the go. Uh, I have things like the Invisi Shield, I can't remember what it's called now, from Glossier is great. Uh, I have Bioderm moisturizers, the Sicily Rose face mask. My Bioderm is in here, my eyelash curler, pencil sharpener, um, lip balm. I have my hand sanitizer and of course my artist kit company uh, little wells these are great when I'm kind of doing intricate work and I want to put remover in there just literally it's it's quite a big section of my kit because I like to cater to every skin type uh, I have a Muji stack with loose powders in for all different skin tones this makes condensing and saving room really easy uh, the Danessa Myricks, uh, I can't remember if it's called the Color Fix, the Clear Gloss. That is so good for obviously putting over any eyeshadow to make it glossy, to make any lipstick a lip gloss, uh, face gloss. I just think having that one product saves me a lot of room and really is a multi-purpose essential. The next section you'll see is where we go into base. So that's foundations, that's my concealers. I love these bottles from Artist Kit Company and I label these so I can just see um, the numbers. These are the Armani Luminous Silks and then I have the Dior Skin Correct Concealers, uh, which I just love. They really are my ride or die favorite. I find I can do a lot with this formula. I also keep all my other foundations in small bottles now so that if I want to change out to a different brand of foundation, I can do very easily. I do have some of the Juvia's Place um, concealers and foundations in there as well that I really, really love. Um, so I add some of those in these small little click pens, which um, you can buy from a brand called Cosmetics um, and the silicon tip is great for sanitizing. This is the bit that always really excites me, which is my Artist Kit Company palette. So this is where I have all my concealers. Uh, so in this one, I have my Cover FX, have my Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage, some Glossier Stretch Concealers, which are great because I can use these as tinted moisturizers as well. Really, really helpful. And then I have some of the Sean Richards colors because they are so, so great, her colorways. Um, this one I use for deeper skin tones and it's so, so good. Then I have some Omar Beauty uh, contour sticks and highlighters for deeper skin tones. Love these. They're so, so good. Um, the highlighter is beautiful, really creamy. Then some more Sean Richards concealers. So again, these are for the very, very pale end of the spectrum of my skin tones. And then uh, one for deeper skin tones again. And then I have one for more light to medium skin tones all by Sean Richards. And again, they're just really, really good colors and super long wearing. Now you might notice you can see they've shrunk a little so any cream product I have that shrunk that's where I make sure I have Inglot Geraline because that revives any product. And I have my labels on the side and on the top because I'm a nerd. So then down here we have more Artist Kit Company palettes and my dual backstage palettes. I have one loose powder uh, by Terry. This is the Hyaluronic, I think it's called the Hydra Powder which I love for red carpet and I use that a lot, so I have the full size in there. Then I have my Dior palettes. Um, I have some for cheeks in here, some for eyes, some for glow. Again, I always like things with a see-through lid because when I lay it out, it makes it really easy to see them. That doubles up great as bronzers, contours. I have warm eyeshadows in here. I have cool tones. I have matte shimmers. 
I find most of the Dior products because I love the formula of Dior eyeshadows as well. They're really easy to work with. They don't spill down. Um, there's a really good amount of kind of classic colors. And the size is also really good for my set bag as well. So if I have to take one that I've been using, it doesn't take up loads of space in my set bag. I always have a lip palette as well by them. Again, another good one for set bag touch-ups. And then more, uh, more Artist Kit Company palettes, um, which I'm just obsessed with. And I have been labeling some of these recently. These are my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, brow pomades. I have some Trini London cream shadows, which you guys know I'm obsessed with. I have some uh, Tower 28 and Nude Sticks cream blushes in here. I even got my eyeglasses in here. I can get so much in such a small space, which is why they're so good. Uh, some Sunny's Face, uh, these like more matte cream blushes. And then I do like to be able to make creative looks as well. So I always make sure in my smaller palettes, I carry the Makeup Forever Flash Colors and the MAC Paint Sticks. Then a few blues, a few greens, kind of more cool tone cream shadows. Some good neutrals. You've always got to have some good neutrals as a makeup artist. And I love these. And then I have a couple of my favorite like powder shadows that are neutrals. Um, they go in here, which are great for like my set bag. Love me some Rowan Beauty eyeshadows as well. So I have some kind of like high shimmer ones in there. So Kozas liquid shadows, the 10 second shadow are definitely a kit favorite for me because they're so quick to use, quite literally 10 seconds. The Retrouve uh, exfoliating pads also kind of fit nicely down the side. And this little box here is actually great because what I can use this for is if I wanna bring new things with me, it means I have a little bit of space where I can kind of focus attention for new products. Uh, Giorgio Armani eye tints, I always have in my kit. I love those, they're fantastic. A few bodyography ones I'm trying out, I love the size. And then the bodyography uh, glitter press pigment in Halo is such a good like clear shimmer that makes any eye look look elevated. So one of the things that I'm testing out of my kit at the minute, which I'm really impressed with, are the Makeup by Mario palette. So I have the, I think this is the Master Metals here, um, which you can activate. I can use Duraline and make these waterproof. I ha have his Master Metallics, which again, I thought was beautiful for red carpet. Really pretty colors and nicest toppers. And this was the main reason I brought this set. This is the Master Mattes, which I just thought was great because it has everything I need in one palette. I always keep my cotton wool in there. Then when we go over to the left hand side, I have all my liquid blushes. I'm a huge lover of cream and liquid blush. I work with it probably the most um, when it comes to base products. I have M Cosmetics in there. Um, I have some NARS liquid blushes. I have like my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Pearl. I try and get as many things into these small tubes from Cosmetics because it's so easy. Uh, Glossy Future Dew, I even have in my kit in one of these. And then I have some Sunny's Face liquid uh, lips, the Lip Dip, which are great. In this little box, I have some uh, disposables, mascara ones, lip brushes. Uh, lip gloss brushes and all different size q-tips because I like variety and that keeps it all nice and clean. A few more artist kit company palettes. So I have my tinted lip balms. I have my favorite matte lipsticks. My Lisa Eldred lipsticks get a palette all to themselves. And then I have two palettes for nude tone lipsticks. So one for light to medium skin tones and one for medium to deeper skin tones. Um, love the mented lipsticks. The mented cosmetics are a real favorite. And then I have the Fenty Universal Block Powder, which again is a great set bag staple. I find this really is genuinely clear. And then if uh, the liquid eyeshadows you hadn't seen were enough, I also have a few more. These are by Smith & Colt, the glitter, I think they're called Glitter Baby Shadows. Again, I love these for red carpet because they're so quick. And then I have one more Mio case, which is for my powder blushes. So I like to have a few more options of powder blush. In here, I have my Surat blushes and, so, and they're matte. And then I have some shimmery NARS ones. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed looking inside my kit. Don't forget to sign up for the free training down below. Subscribe and like this video and I'll see you soon for more.